friends here we are solving double integral problem the given problem is evaluate integral 1 2 3 integral 0 to 1 x y square dy dx so first we have to integrate with respect to x r y we have to observe that one how we can say first with respect to x r y means here you observe both the limits of x and y both the limits of x and y are independent in this case so whenever the limits are independent then we can do irrespective of order right now you see in this case are they mentioned like this is x limit or y limit no they are not mentioned if suppose if with this is one is independent and the another one is dependent then we can identify directly but in this case you observe how we can identify y values y limits are what and x limits are what means first we are what they are given dy so the integral of y limits are here y limits are 0 to 1 and these are x limits once again i am repeating you see integral 1 2 3 integral 0 to 1 x y square dy dx they are given so dy limits are here inside integral and the dx limits are outside x limits are outside integral so in this case you can do irrespective of order integration because both the limits of x and y are independent so i am doing you see first i am doing x integration that is x square by 2 what about the limits of x here 1 2 3 and also y also i can do directly y square integration is y cube by 3 limits are 0 to 1 this is called the direct integration with irrespective of order okay see i will do the both methods for you now in this case 1 by 2 is outside now if you are substituted 3 then 3 square is nothing but 9 minus 1 x square is 1 only now next 1 by 3 is there here now if you put x is y is equal to 1 1 cube is 1 minus 0 so 1 by 6 will become outside next year you have 9 minus 1 means 8 so 8 by 6 2 4 are 8 2 3 are 6 so 4 by 3 is the answer now same problem i am doing in general method you see integral 1 2 3 integral 0 to 1 x y square dy dx they are given so first i am integrating with respect to y later i will integrate with respect to x in this case this is method 2 you will get a same answer for the method 1 and method 2 method 1 in this case what we have done irrespective of order that is direct integration we are done because both the limits of x and y are independent now we are doing one order what order here first we are integrating with respect to y later i am integrating with respect to x now integral 1 to 3 is 1 to 3 here while integrating with respect to integrand is containing function of x comma y while integrating with respect to y treat x as a constant now y square integration is y cube by 3 limits from 0 to 1 into you have dx so 1 by 3 is a constant you can write outside integral in this case here integral 1 2 3 x is x now if you are substituted upper limit then you will have 1 cube 1 cube is nothing but 1 minus lower limit is 0 into dx now 1 by 3 times of integral 1 2 3 1 minus 0 is 1 into x is x dx so 1 by 3 is outside now x integration is here x square by 2 limits from 1 2 3 so 1 by 2 is a constant you can write outside 1 by 3 into 1 by 2 you will have 1 by 6 now if you substituted upper limit here you have 2 cube 2 cube is nothing but 8 sorry 3 square 3 square is nothing but here 9 3 square is 9 and 1 square is nothing but 1 so here you have 8 by 6 8 by 6 you can both are even functions so factors of 2 so 2 3 are 6 2 4 are 8 so you are getting 4 by 3 in the method 2 i have 4 by 3 in the method 1 what i have actually 4 by 3 so you can do in general integration nothing but first if you have y then you have to integrate with respect to y later you have to integrate with respect to x even though that method or else directly integration also we can do because the limits of x and y are independent so is it clear for everyone thank you for watching this video